Good evening, Chair, Woman Scandal, ladies and gentlemen. On the three old board, Bruce Patterson, Garland, New Jersey. Uh, this is what I like to see is a small agenda, minimal resolution. Like I noted about two years ago when something like this happened, and it's like the Republicans took over again, you know. But uh, <clears throat> just uh, on page two, number 921, uh, which is the one uh, adding $135,000 to $970,000 for uh, Holzman Healthcare. I, I appreciate Freeholder, Freeholder Java uh, asking a lot of questions. Uh, just some additional questions. Is, is this increase based on some dollar per hour? So I guess that's, that's one question. And another is, I just want to, even though it's reimbursed by Medicare, I, I was just wondering why you don't have this done in-house with uh, somebody on staff. Uh, same page two down here at the bottom, number 926. Uh, that's the $1,020,000 that was given to the towns by way of the Kids Recreation Trust Fund. Uh, as, as a resident of Garwood, at least I say thank you very much for the $25,000. Uh, I, I guess the, the question is, I think I know what this is. Was that money from like so many dollars per round of golf? Is that how it's generated? Because I know you're mentioning open space trust fund, but I, I thought this was being generated uh, a different way. I think I, I think Freeholder Estrada had uh, initiated the program. Um, also, is this an increase or a decrease dollar amount from last year? And also, it appears somehow Kenilworth and West Winfield Park was left out. Uh, somebody could just explain why. They drop through the cracks. And that's it. This is a very minimal agenda. So, minimal questions. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to ask um, Mr. Miller to respond to 921. Thank you, Madam Chair. The uh, rate per hour is $80 an hour for our contracted occupational therapist. We have all of our occupational therapists are contracted to provide the service that they do. Uh, and we've chosen to do that because it is less expensive than employing them and paying their benefits. I think that answers the question. You're welcome. <laughs> I can answer the question. Yeah, that's fine. The um, two towns that were not did not apply for the fund. Um, and and the revenues are it's, it's the same as last year with a million dollar program, so it didn't change from last year. And the um, the, 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 the the money just comes out of the general revenues of the other states. And I think something, sorry, I think something you pointed out is that while we offer these grants, um, we also make follow-up calls to the trust department, to the urban grant, who makes follow-up calls to the towns who haven't submitted their applications to make sure that they know that the grant is available, that they know enough to submit an application for it. And after a couple of calls, we stop, but we do give them ample opportunity to apply for the grant money. It's absolutely true, and that was true on the, the grants from the Historic Preservation, mm -hmm. which we did, and we always do that. Everyone has the same opportunity as everyone else. In different years, they have different requirements, so sometimes we do. Absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, does anyone else would like to uh, 